Hey Divination, thank you for joining us in this tutorial. Today we're showing you how to set up a global presets style guide for any kind of website you build, and we're doing that using the free framework that you'll be able to download. So without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so let's take a quick look at the global preset style guide framework. So a global preset style guide is an overview of the most important elements that you'll be styling for use inside your Divi websites. So it usually contains three parts, the first part being the color palette. And over here, you will add all of the different hex codes that you'll use throughout your design process, and you can add some gradient backgrounds as well. And next up, we have the text style. So over here, you will be able to style all of your headings, your body text, lists, and more. And you'll get three options for each one of them. So you can create three global presets for each text style. And then last but not least, we also have the modules. So here are some of Divi's most popular modules, and you can create three variations and turn them into global presets. Now, when do you create or use a global preset style guide? So preferably you'll start creating and using a global preset style guide before building your pages or templates. The reason behind that is that you'll be able to immediately access your global presets while building your designs instead of having to go back to your design, reset inline styles on an element level and apply a global preset. Starting your Divi build process after you've created a style guide helps you avoid having to manually make changes to modules inside their individual settings. So if you're working with global presets from the beginning, you'll be able to modify them in one place and watch the changes unfold across your entire website at once. Now, in the next part of this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can download this framework and how you can set it up. So first of all, you will need to download the global preset style guide framework inside this post. So it's mentioned in the description below. And once you go there, you can click on this button and over here, you can enter your email address and click on the download button. Then another download button will appear and you'll be able to download a zip folder. Now, once you unzip that folder, you will get a JSON file, which we'll need in the next part of this tutorial. So go ahead and go back to your WordPress website and go to the Divi library in the back end of your WordPress website. Now over here, you can see that I've already uploaded this layout, but if you want to do it yourself, you can click on the import and export button, go to the import tab, choose a file. So go ahead and locate the JSON file that you've just downloaded and click on import Divi builder layouts. Once your layout has been uploaded, you can open it inside the library itself by clicking on the edit button, or you can create a separate page draft for it. To keep the page experience going on, we'll go for the second option. So I'll go to pages, add new. I'll give my page a title. I'll save it as a draft and start using the Divi Builder. All right, so once you create a new page, you'll get three options. You can start building from scratch, choose a pre-made layout or clone an existing page. We're going to browse through our Divi library over here by clicking on the purple item. And then we'll navigate to the save layout over here and select our framework layout. Once inside the style guide framework, you'll be able to set up the color palette of your choice. So the number of colors you add is entirely up to you. To visually display the colors inside the style guide, uh, we're using background settings of a text module. So if I open this text module over here, go to the background settings, I'll be able to change the color. And then I can just copy this color code and paste it inside the second text module of that column. So you can do that for each one of the colors. You can also clone the entire row to add more colors if you want to. And you can do the same thing for the gradient backgrounds over here as well. So once you've set up your color palette, you can add the main colors to your default color palette. So if you go to your WordPress website, go to DV theme options, you'll see a color pickers default palette and over here you can change all of these hex codes with the ones that you've added to your style guide.
So adding the colors visually to a style guide will help you see if the colors match each other before you actually get started with the web design process. Now in the next part, we're going to go to the textiles over here and you can choose how many variations you want of each textile. So say for instance, you only need one heading style, you can easily remove the second and the third options over here. Um, but you're able to create variants of one certain textile and then save them as global presets. So let's just style the heading over here. So I'll just go to the heading text settings of the first option there. And I'm going to increase the size to 50 pixels. I'm going to use ultra bold and I'm also going to enable uppercase. Now let me just copy these heading textiles and then I'll go to the second option. And over here, I just, I want a heading text that doesn't enable the uppercase. So I want to be able to access that in my global presets without having to manually change it. So I'll just disable that in the second option. I'm also going to increase the text size to 70 pixels here. And you can also style a third one as well if you want to. So you can do that for each and every text style before you move on to the next part, which is creating the global presets. And the last part of the style guide handles the modules. So here you can start modifying the modules according to the style that you have in mind. And the fact that all modules are so within reach of each other will help you get a better overview of the design style and its balance. For each popular module, we've provided three options that you can style and later on turn into global presets. So over here you can create three button styles of your choice. So let's open the first one. Give it a white text color. And we're removing the border width. I'm just gonna copy these button styles and paste them onto the second option over here, but I'm gonna change the background color here. So here you can add a more colorful color and we're adding a third one as well. Once all textiles and module styles have been completed, don't forget the responsive part of it all too. So now it's time to turn all of these elements that we've styled into global presets. So you'll need to do that on an individual level. Um, so if you wanna turn a the button, for instance, into a global preset, the first one, you can click on the presets option at the top and click on create new preset from current styles and give your preset a recognizable name. So that could be button one, for instance. You can also assign the preset to default by toggling this option. All right, so the first one has been added and you'll do that for each one of the button modules that's listed over here. So we'll turn this one into the second button preset. And the last one into the third one. Now if I reset the styles over here, so I'll just reset module styles. I'll be able to pick between my different styles at the top. So once you've styled all of the different modules that you'll be using in the text styles, you can turn each one of them into a global preset as we've done for the buttons over here. So make sure that you give them recognizable names so you can easily check back within the style guide to see if you're using the correct one. So go ahead and play around with this framework and create stunning web design with Divi. 
Well, that was all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and we hope that you're enjoying all of these Divi tutorials and freebies and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye.